Marvel, which is, this is so crazy, the Flash movie, which is, I think it's being called Flashpoint, I guess there's going to be some alternate universe thing going on where he's going to encounter Michael Keaton's Batman. Bathmats? Uh, yeah, the other guy's a bat- Bathmats. Um, that's like going, it's everywhere right now, you know, everybody's reporting on it, and it's really weird. I mean, I think it's cool because yeah. you're kind of getting like it's going to take place. Uh, Michael Keaton's Batman 30 years after the last movie, which makes sense because of his age. So I think that would be fun um, to see Michael Keaton again he, 30 years later. I'm assuming there's going to be comedic bits about it or something. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. And it's really interesting because they're saying how. We thought maybe it was just a cameo, but what they're saying is it's actually going to be, he might play a significant uh, role with some, in multiple movies, playing the, you know, the guide, like the, they compared it to like Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury, where he might appear in multiple DC movies, Uh, and they're saying maybe Batgirl uh, was one of them. And I don't know what the other ones are, but they mentioned movies like Batgirl. I guess that's interesting. That's really weird. I had no. I, I was not expecting that. Um, I was not expecting that at all uh, from this movie because we all, what we all, I think, want is for this Flash movie to, this Flashpoint movie to kind of clear the air and fix. What's been going on with the DC uh, movies since now we have no more Ben Affleck. But then we have the Snyder Cut coming back out next year. Then we still have Wonder Woman, Aquaman. We still have most of the Justice League, but not all of them. Suicide Squad is being remade as well. So <laughs> what? where does the DC slate stand? Um... I do like the the idea of Michael Keaton coming back. That's really interesting. I feel like that could be fun. But I hope they're not only doing that. I hope they're also addressing these DC movies now, you know? I mean, it's going to be cool. But, I don't know, I'm kind of, like, confused with the whole DC universe crap. So, I, I don't know. I just I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Well, you said they were doing, like, some sort of event uh, this year, yeah, right? Yeah, like, uh, August, like a... Like a live stream or something. Like kind of like a, a little panel uh, to yeah. release all their slates of movies well, or something. Hopefully, uh, that's what I think That's what is. people are thinking. Yeah, because yeah, I do know Black Adam is happening, Shazam. So you see, like, they have a core there. Now we and, think and, Henry and, Cavill's and they coming back. announced, like, the Suicide Squad game mm-hmm. in August. And that okay. event. And some, like, Batman game or something. Okay, yeah, that's going to be cool. So uh, be it's, cool. like, all, I guess, like, I don't know. Yeah, all their stuff. But I wonder if, because now there's reports Henry Cavill's coming back. Uh, but he's not getting his own sequel yet. They're putting him in smaller movies. He's going to make a cameo in the DC movies. Maybe to see if the hype builds up around him. Yeah. Then do his own movie. Since the Superman movies haven't been doing well. Like the last couple movies. By last couple I mean what? Man of Steel. Before that was Batman, uh, Superman Returns or something. The the one that was people say it was really boring. With Kevin Spacey and... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, they say it's like really boring. Supposedly, I I haven't seen it, but I guess that one flopped as well. So they're obviously kind of scared right now to do a Superman movie, but they're putting him in supporting roles. So I don't know where the DC's gonna go with that, but it's interesting that they're doing this Michael Keaton thing, and that he might uh play in multiple movies. I I don't know. That's really weird. I think it would be cool. Um, but are they still going to do this Flash movie with the same actor? Because he got... I mean, there's video of him like grabbing and choking a girl by the throat at a bar, you know? Uh, he was... It's, he's getting a lot of issues with that. Is he still going to be playing Fat Flash by then? Guess so. From right As of right now, I guess it seems like it, which I find really weird considering like there's clearly proof of this guy... Like, doing that, you know? I just hope this Flashpoint movie can really clear the air on what's been going on with the DC movies. That's what I'm hoping for. 
uh, Michael Keaton back as Batman. I think that would be cool. I think that would be like really cool to see. I just I didn't really like this guy's Flash much, to be honest with you anyway. But from the looks of it, I guess he's staying as the character. We were hearing theories about they were going to find a way to reboot Justice League. And how do you reboot it if you have most of the new characters, most of the characters in except Batman. Batman's the only one missing. Yeah. And I saw a post that was actually true. Like, we're going to have three different Batmans between 2021 and 2022. Because we're getting Zack Snyder's Ben Affleck Batman. Then we're getting... Uh, Robert Pattinson's, and that's what they're saying. It's going to have no effect on Robert Pattinson's Batman, the Flashpoint movie, which I found interesting as well. So I don't know what's going on. That, that, I guess that's just a standalone trilogy. It's like the Christopher Nolan. Yeah, that's just it, his, it's own his, it's his own trilogy. But now Batman. that affects the DCU because you're not going to have another Batman, you know? So now you have Ben Affleck in the Snyder Cut, Robert Pattinson in his own trilogy, and then now you're getting Michael Keaton coming back in Flashpoint. That's like three different batmans there and they should bring back uh george clooney's batman yeah george clooney val kilmer bring them all back you know um i don't know this flashpoint movie has been trying to get made for years it looks like now it's finally starting to get its footing i don't know why i have a feeling it's just going to be his own standalone movie because i don't think they should do that because if they are going to tease alternate universes that could be their chance to fix the slate a little bit you know with ben affleck's batman and but it's gonna be confusing because now the snyder cuts coming out next year what if that's a hit what do you do no but he's not that? coming back i don't think so but what do you do with that i don't know dc's in that weird spot